Hi, my name is Madhav Sathe. In this session, we are going to take a look at live demo of PKS. In this session, we're going to cover three uh, agenda items. First, we'll create a Kubernetes cluster from scratch on PKS. Second, we'll write deployment YAMLs for a Dockerized Spring Boot application. And third, we'll deploy that Dockerized application onto the newly created Kubernetes cluster. So let's get started with the first step in the process of creating a Kubernetes cluster. For this PKS live demo, we're gonna use GCP as an infrastructure. The first step in creating a Kubernetes cluster is to create a load balancer onto the GCP. That load balancer will be used to point out to the master node in the Kubernetes cluster. So let's go ahead and create a load balancer, TCP load balancer. Let's keep the default as they are. Let's name the load balancer as ACME cluster LB. For the backend configuration, we'll mention the region right now. We'll not mention the VM because we don't have the VM yet. The VM will be created when we actually go ahead and create a cluster. For the backend, we're gonna create a new public IP. We're gonna name it ACME cluster IP. The resource already is there. We're gonna use the one that is already there, ACME cluster IP. And the port number is 8443. With this configuration, we're gonna create the load balancer. The next step is going to be creating a DNS entry for the load balancer public IP. Once the load balancer creation is done, we'll go to the cloud DNS and make an entry, a record entry into the uh, hosted zone. The Kubernetes cluster a load balancer is ready. Let's pick up the IP address from here and create a DNS entry. Uh, if we don't have a DNS entry for ACME, let's go ahead and add a record, call it ACME, copy paste the, the IP address, and it's gonna take a few moments for the IP address to be registered with this uh, domain name. After the DNS record has been created, next we go ahead and find out if the name correctly resolves to the IP address. Looks like the name correctly resolves to IP address now. And we can go ahead and start the process of cluster creation. And in the meantime, we are gonna also, uh, first of all, let me kill this process. All right. So we have the load balancer created. We have the DNS lookup entry made over there. Let's go ahead and create a cluster. PKS create cluster, ACME cluster. E, uh, for external name, we're gonna use this name that we just created uh, in the DNS. And for nodes, we're gonna use one worker node. And for the plan, we're gonna use the small plan. Small is the name of the plan that is should be visible in your PCF ops manager. This is what your operators have set up in terms of t-shirt sizing the, the PKS clusters. Let's go ahead and submit this command. It is gonna take a while for uh, the cluster creation process to complete. Once the cluster creation process is complete, uh, we can go ahead and map the master node uh, of the cluster to the load balancer for us to see whether the cluster creation process is going correct or smooth or not, we can go ahead and run this command. Watch PKS cluster, ACME cluster. It is going on and uh, while this is going on, we can use this time to go ahead and start creating the deployment YAMLs for the application that we're gonna you know, deploy on Kubernetes. <clears throat> 